Hi guys, good morning. I bring to you a week in my life, <laughs> a week in my pregnant life. Uh, of course, the days are different, the weeks are different. This is what was for this week. So that's the stage of my pregnancy. We all know I'm already in the third trimester. That's how my belly bump looks like. I can barely wear anything barely wear anything i can barely dress up oh husband is making food for the pregnant wife that's lovely <laughs> uh, i had a i had a <coughs> excuse me guys i had the craft to eat a fried arijan uh omelet egg omelet so thank god for Jose. he was there he did it for me and I enjoyed myself. I uh, was in bed and I screamed this morning because the baby was, this was above kicking. The baby just went to the left side of my stomach. If you see the left side of my stomach push, protruding there, it's because the baby just went, I don't know whether he put his leg or his head down. Guys, it was painful. I screamed. So here, you see me explaining to my daughter. She ran from her room. My son, my ADS daughter that you guys know in my channel, my previous videos, she ran from her room. I said, Mommy, show me where the baby is piercing you. <laughs> so I showed her why pressing the corner of my stomach. And then my black line is already out, guys. Hooray. Still same week. Toothache. Pregnancy toothache. This doctor told me one baby, one tooth. That, that's how the, <laughs> the grandmothers used to say, but it's not true. But unfortunately for me, the pain was too much. BP was 180 on 110. So I had to take it off. So I had to go to a birthday party this week. Oh, with all my tiredness, I could not bake anything at all because i tried to cook but i could not be so i had to pass straight supermarket and pick up some cake and uh, and uh, some wine some uh, champagne i love to i love to buy uh, uh there's this champagne for kids that is non-alcoholic so if you're going for a birthday party those are some of the things you should consider the champagne for kids that are non-alcoholic so that's what i got to add it up to the food that i made and the cake that i bought because guys i could not cook standing up for me <laughs> it's not easy but this week I tried to do a little bit of sports, but when I came, I understood that no, the doctors know why they said I should be in bed and that I should rest. So guys, I chose pink uh, bottle for the, the, the occasion I was going to because it's a girl. It's a girl. The birthday celebrant was a 12 year old girl, so I chose pink uh, bottle. But for the cake, I didn't want to choose pink because I knew she already had a cake. Of course, she will have a better cake. Uh, the cake I was going with was just the one that they were to maybe curd and share to people, you know, who add to the meal for the day. But I chose a more mature color that's white and uh, chocolate brown, something like that. So, guys, as you can see, after getting the 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 cake i had to give it to the this the workers in the supermarket to spray or to write the name of the birthday celebrant on it you see because when those cakes are made they just put they don't know who is coming for what who is coming for which so when you make your choice don't forget always give it back to them there's a small machine they just write what you want the information you want to give out on the cake so they did when i get to the house i'll open the cake and show you and show you what they wrote on it so it depends on you what you want uh, them to write on it i delayed here so much on the counter guys because those girls were like 
very slow okay this is where i picked out the still same supermarket guys this is where i picked out uh, the champagne for kids <laughs> some people say champagne but me i call it champagne i don't know whether that's the different pronunciation in french and english so i call it champagne this is where i picked so that, those are the blue ones you can get those ones for boys and those are the pink ones so i got the pink because she was a girl and then this is the cake these are the various shapes and uh, flavors of cake because they have different flavorings but i chose this one that's right in front of you white and chocolate white and chocolate brown i didn't want to take the pink because i knew she she must already have a pink cake which is obvious and which is what she had uh so guys you can see for those who want to just quickly pick up cake and then go for a party you don't feel like baking for that day or for some some reason you don't have time to bake you can just jump into a bakery or a supermarket as a bakery or whatever and then you pick some fresh cakes from there and it saves you for the day guys <laughs> so back to the house i made some food yeah you guys know <laughs> with this pregnancy i can't really i can't really cook as i used to do you know masa is a foodie and i've got one of my businesses is a restaurant i do service trade there uh please all of you who are in cameroon it's planning on the you can contact me just drop it on the comment section i'll give you my 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 business number you can contact me wherever you need food i'll come and do it and come and supply so this is what i made i made poisson a la poil i made uh, dodo then i made uh, pili pili that's a uh, uh, mid rolls yeah i did mid rolls then of course you know chicken must be available so even the chicken is very expensive now in Yonde Bar. I did, but I fried the chicken for her. Okay, so because the doctor asked me to just be in bed, you guys know I've been, I have to be in bed for the whole of these nine months of this pregnancy. So I can't drive, so I had to call for my junior brother. May God bless him, thank God for him. So he drove us to the venue. And uh, in the car, there's me, that's my direct junior brother, and then the kids behind. Uh, my eight-year-old daughter was behind me somewhere, and then his kids, so it was my family and his family. Yeah, we got to the venue already, and I came in with a lot of grace, a lot of energy, and I was just lighting the place up, guys. So I just entered with singing and dancing, you know, because uh, the birthday celebrant is... 12 years old she's in the boarding school so her friends don't recite around this area and then uh it was just the few people living in the house so there's just about four of them in the house then my my house and then my junior brother's house and then yeah the the helps of the house that's just all so their their parents are not are not available so this is us guys Sure, this is us. So here I was singing Snatch by my believer love world sister. I was singing uh, I know who I am from Snatch. I know who I am. <laughs> I am a chosen generation and I know who I am from Snatch. I had a lot of energy these days, guys. To me, I was doing sports. <laughs> After being on the bed and lifting up my legs for a long while, I said, no, let me straighten the muscles and the tendons. So, you know, I just came in with this joy, this grace, this peaceful and enjoyable atmosphere. And, you know, everybody just picked it up from there and it lit up the place and everywhere was on fire, guys. We enjoyed ourselves, you know. <laughs> We enjoyed ourselves, guys. You see us dancing. The adults were even enjoying more than the kids. We used to know their birthday party for kids. I had to make kids enjoy. But here it's like 
we enjoyed more than the kids. So my idea daughter Mesumbe had to do a dancing sketch. I didn't even know about that. I was surprised. So I walk up to to you know encourage her and then the other kids would draw them in, then the other the adults in the house came in massa uh, and not be feeling down so see my ways <laughs> my ways i just make lazy and getting please guys don't love me a bit <laughs> what is this i can't even shake anymore wow i was keeping like a frog <laughs> I didn't enjoy myself anyway. <laughs> so yeah, we're still dancing a song from Christ Embassy. You know, guys, I don't have the right over the song. That's why it's not in the background. We all know the policies and the rules here. Mm. So then after this song, what else did we dance? We danced to... Uh, uh, God has given me victory by Eben. God has given me victory by Eben. Ah, yeah, he has given me victory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That's what we dance after this. Where you see me holding my stomach. So to the birthday celebrant, God gave her victory over the past year. And she has one more year today. To me, God gave me victory <laughs> to have my pregnancy. I was happy. And uh, to all the other people, their yeah, victory in their hearts. You know, there's no body that God hasn't given. Just the fact that you're hale and hearty, just the fact that you're alive, just the fact that you can celebrate with, with one another, just this quality time that you share. Uh, guys it's enough victory so we, we prayed shared the word of god and then all the all the other uh, children of the the house were coming and dancing you know celebrating guys <laughs> it was a small short but beautiful and enjoyable party <laughs> Small, short, beautiful, enjoyable party. There you go again. Aye, God is giving me victory. <laughs> See the bomb. See the pregnancy bomb, guys. <laughs> oh my God. Aye. <laughs> ah. And the little guy dancing is my uncle's son. His house is just downstairs uh, as well. Uh, see, <laughs> he was very happy. He danced more than the birthday celebrant. Okay, guys, since I could not dance here, yeah, I could not shake the stomach. I had to hold it with my hand and shake it. <laughs> I was sweating. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's the birthday celebrant at the end with the gown. She, you can see her teeth are outside. She's all smiling, enjoying herself. She didn't know <laughs> who come out and, you know, do this small and beautiful party since she knows her friends are not around. Okay, guys, and that was it. Came back to the house, laid on the floor and rest. Since I don't keep late night, I didn't stay there for long. Came back and I was watching Keeping Up with the Kardashian, the episode where Chloe had COVID, I suppose, and was quarantined in her room. Uh, and then, uh, for for a while, or when she she had to call the doctor to come and test if she had COVID, yeah, I think it's that period, yeah. She suspected that she had COVID and she sent the doctor to come and you know she called for the doctor to come and take her samples and go and do run a test for her so for the what for the for that while she was waiting for the test she had to quarantine in her room that was nice courageous family 
Guys, when I got up from this place to go to bed, my legs were all swollen. <laughs> I confirmed why the doctor said, no, in your case, you have to sleep and rest. This is the know your system, you know. My legs were all swollen. Next day, couldn't get up from bed. Laid in bed the whole day, ate white chocolate bars and biscuits in bed while listening to gospel music. And then I was just tired. Hobie filmed me here. I was tired. Then. <laughs> so the baby was not moving nor kicking on this next day. <laughs> I guess the baby slept all throughout. The baby was not kicking this day. No movement. The baby was tired. <laughs> well, okay, guys. Uh, pray God gives me the energy to do more vlogs and to keep you guys company. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being a family. Love you guys. See you in my next video. Bye.